Hi, this is Donald Schultz from Imagine It. Uh, recently, we received Sprint 154 in Azure DevOps. And one of the uh, cool features that, that they provided with us is what they call work item reload. In the past, if you ever were working on a work item that somebody else was also working on, and they save their changes and you try to save your changes, you found that you couldn't save your changes, you get this big red block telling you that you didn't have the latest changes, you'd have to, to go and refresh the page before you could make your changes. We'd have to do that whole thing all over again. And with uh, work item reload, somebody else could actually be working on the same work item and you could actually see those changes appearing on your screen. So what we're not seeing here is that I've actually got this same uh, work item opened up in another uh, window. I've made some changes to it and I'm actually going in here and I'm saying, uh, uh, shouldn't there be more data here for me to work? So let me just save that. I'm just going to do a save, not close it. And so as soon as I saved, the work that came from the other work item showed up on my screen here. So here I now have the repo steps. I actually have an acceptance criteria. And these were also changed uh, from a two to a one and made uh, critical. So I think this is really, really cool. I mean, it's still, you're gonna have issues if you're actually both updating the same field, you'll still get that same red box that you'll actually have to get the latest changes first before you update yours. But it should really make things a lot simpler. I mean, even when I'm working on my own, I sometimes have a, a couple of different windows open and I make changes in one, I forget, uh, and then I'm working on another instance of it, but it hasn't been updated, uh, but I'm working on a different field. And this way it really saves a lot of problems, a lot of issues with that. Hope you like that. I hope you think that's as cool as I do. Thanks.